seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we got a project. Now out in the garage, which is where we're fixing to go here in just a minute, um, the actual garage door opener, the thing that actually moves your garage door is a pretty good size box. And I've took in the measurements of the box of the actual garage door opener thing, you know, like that thing that sits up in there. I'm gonna show it to y'all when we go out in the garage. Um, oh, and I made some changes to the studio. I'll show you guys that also. Uh, but what I was thinking about doing was taking a comp an old computer case and completely gutting it out and putting it up and over the, the garage door opener. That way it could hide it and I could, you know, put a, like a blue fan in it. I think it would look a lot better and it wouldn't be such an eyesore, um, to it. I need to quit saying, um, yeah. Y'all see the new X79 motherboard platform I got? I love this thing. Look, it has a power and a reset switch on it. How often do you see a power and a reset switch on a motherboard? That's pretty cool, too. Um, and then I got a whole bunch of parts and stuff, and then we're going to do something with that. This is the case uh, that I'm going to chop up. I figured if I take... This, the, this case has already been chopped up. Somebody's hacked it up real bad. So I'm going to take this stuff, this stuff, everything out of it completely. Even the motherboard tray has to come out. And I'm hoping that when I mount it that this is the part that you'll see is just this. And I'll have a nice blue fan there as my bunny rabbit investigates it. There it is. Click. Okay, so my, uh, my key's been missing forever today. Alright, so this is the case that we're going to chop up and take out. I have found that it's easier to take apart a computer case using a drill than it is a grinder, if I'm correct. Okay, yeah, so what I did is I went ahead and removed that side of the workbench. Remember, there, uh, a workbench continued on out to the end here, and I took it apart, and then I just took my saw and just made a clean cut right down through the middle to open up the space to allow me to put more things in here and everything um i had to remove our television the tv was just too heavy for it so i'm gonna go with a thinner smaller i'm sorry not a smaller a thinner lighter tv um i went ahead and got our rug put in here I got the table that I made. I just made and built this table uh, like a day or so ago. You can see I got our name, ATEC PCs in it. Um, I put the work mat out here. Uh, I just I just built this right here, all right? And I had to use that board to prop it up so the glue would set and I also have it screwed in. I brought out our monitor and um, you know, I brought out the 32-bit monster, which you guys know it too well this right here is going to be the main computer this is what i'm going to use to um, basically show what i'm working on or what i'm doing and you know and you guys you guys get a, an idea of how it's looking you know we got our softbox lights uh one of the biggest problems though that i've been fighting is the um the dust you know because i'm in a garage and there's you know as you can see there's just see what i mean there's dust everywhere it drives me nuts and i've been trying to keep this area real clean um check this out over here i installed two new shelves all right i painted them black and installed them there i got the panel hung one of my light panels it's hung and then uh, i had to remove some of the wiring and stuff i think what i'm gonna do is take that light and set it off to the side but this is what I'm talking about. This right here is the garage door box. And as you can see, it's it's ugly. It doesn't match nothing or nothing. So what I was thinking was taking that computer case and putting it up and over 
that and covering it and that way all you would see is a nice square flat line with a you know like a pretty blue or red or green or whatever fan color I want to put in the t into it and I think it would look a lot better than that and if I really wanted to I can actually uh, take this this shroud this thing I can actually remove that and just put mine on there and the best part is is that there's wood everywhere so I could actually find some way to anchor that case into it although I'm afraid that I'm going to have to move the set again because of that bar or I would just have to remove that bar I don't know it's one step at a time but as you can see I have been making progress okay so what you're going to want to do whenever you're taking apart a computer case is you just need a drill and you need a bit that's slightly bigger than that rivet right there and you just simply take the drill and hit the rivet and it should come right off and i'm going to show you guys how to do that right now so i'm going to set that right there i want to remove that rivet that's it it took the ribbit right out and that's what we want those out those came out real good and clean and as you can see it's loose now so I'm just going to keep going and eventually we will have an empty shell all I want is the four corners of the box that's it everything else can come out and we're going to leave the fans in but everything else needs to come out so I got it done you can see as I took all the parts out of it, HG drive and whatever this thing was, something for the power supply, motherboard tray, and I completely gutted it out as I wanted to. But okay, so I decided to go get something to eat. I was hungry, it's late. As you can see, the weather is getting very bad outside, so and it's starting to lightning. So my outdoor activities are coming to an end for right now. Uh, so I'm just gonna go get something to eat and I need to go by Walmart and get another can of paint Isn't that pretty? I see that almost every day when I drive through here on this road But it, I think it's gorgeous you Get all up back in here and Hit these some of these back roads man though. They suck during winter Man look how high the river is Wow yeah, that's pretty high you can tell it's raining right now but one thing I do like is Walmart's flowers I always like flowers I'm a little bit of a gardener guys if y'all didn't know that one of my other hobbies is gardening I love to garden and I've always been intrigued with plants and flowers and stuff all right so we made it inside of Walmart and we are going to I think we're gonna get food first because I already know where the spray paint is and if I can find it I need to get a couple of LED kits but I have to get them at the right time because I noticed that the price fluctu fluctuates sometimes it'll be at like six dollars one week and then the next week they'll be selling them for three dollars so I'll have to see what the price is but I think I'm gonna get some food first all right so I got my food and I got my spray paint and now I got to find the exit but there's like a million people here, so it'll be fun. <clears throat> All right, so I just got back home from Walmart and the weather is still pretty bad outside. It's, it's getting nasty. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start setting up for my next video, which is where I take the X79 platform and we put some RAM in it and a graphics card and I have to pick which power supply I wanna use and we'll get it hooked up and we'll test it out and see what's going on but that's for another day and stuff but all right i'm back home and thank you guys for watching i hate walmart sometimes because there's so many people there and then look at this i just like i literally just walked in the door and one of my um one of my uh, comics fell off the wall see it up there that space missing i just walked in and it i heard it just and I just caught it just in time so I can't drop my comics so anyway all right I'm getting out of here thank you guys for watching make sure to hit the like subscribe all that good stuff and I'm gonna get to work on some computer stuff so y'all be cool peace